Hey, this is Coach Josh here, Training for Warriors Portland, with a little bit of insight and info on nutrition. And nutrition is a huge topic, and it's really easy when you look at something as big and as large and as wide and as deep as food and nutrition and recovery. <clears throat> it's easy to, to, to get uh, distracted by information without context. So one of the things that I do at Training for Warriors is try to provide as much context as I can to, to warriors and individuals, anybody who's trying to, to build muscle, burn fat, feel good, and how to adjust your own, your own diet and, and how nutrition plays into your overall health and what to do about it. And I have a story that I got actually from a Precision Nutrition textbook. Their level one certification is really great. If you haven't studied any of John Berardi or PN's material, please do. It's one of the best um, aggregators of current uh, the behavioral science, but there's a story in the textbook about this cancer ward. And on this cancer ward, there's patients and they're going through different kinds of treatment and they, their diets are extremely uh, regimented, extremely measured. And there's a, this cancer patient that continually has, has high body fat and his body fat just keeps getting higher and higher. And they looked at his, at his diet and he was only eating about 800 calories per day. And uh, you, would, you would see that and you'd be like, holy cow, with a caloric deficit, this person's height and weight, like there's, there's no way that they can lose, they, they, they can't lose body fat with eight on 800 calorie a day diet. That's well below starvation. And the, the, the story is, is meant to illustrate the fact that our bodies are going to constantly adjust to our environment and the stimulus that is presented to us. So while calories in, calories out, the law of the thermodynamics matters a lot, you can, your, your body will continue, continually adjust such that this person, this body adjusted so that he was burning less than 800 calories per day to stay alive. There's uh, different organs and uh, hormone regulation. His, his body recalibrated to, to burn less fuel. And who knows what the implications were for his health. I mean, he had cancer and was in a very painful place in his life anyway. But the, um, the idea is that there isn't any one-size-fits-all solution that will always get you to where you want to go. And I, I repeat this because I'll, I'll hear people say, oh, I, I know what always makes me lose weight. It's always no sugar. It's always 1,200 calories. It's always don't eat uh, breakfast or lunch or really dinner. Uh, just have a cup of coffee and a cigarette. That diet, uh, it, it may work. It may have worked for you, it may work again, but it will only work for a little while. It will, it will only get you to the point where your body adjusts and adapts to that. And uh, the reason why you have nutrition coaches, the reason why you have uh, you know, coaches and experts at all to help you through this process is to keep you adjusting your nutrition to what your body's asking for and what it needs. So there's, always, there's a time and a place to go in a calorie deficit. There's a time and a place to go in a calorie surplus. And I'm a big fan of keeping things simple and, and having heuristics. So uh, I, if I'm trying to lean out, and this is like, if you want to write this part down, here's the tactic. The tactic is eat about your, your maintenance calories or a little bit below your maintenance calories every day. And on a training day, eat an additional four or 500 calories. Like that's just a kind of, uh, shotgun blast of a strategy that I've seen work for a large swath of people. But everybody's different and your maintenance calories are different and they change. So you have to just stay on top of that. And I, I point that out because that strategy that I just outlined, like it will, it will work and it will work for a while. But there isn't any permanent solution in any one size fits all because our bodies are so dynamic. You have to feed them, you have to give them nutrition to sustain you while you're, while you're working. You, if you, you need to be fed, literally fed, not depleted by your training. You need to be fed, not depleted by your nutrition program. And if your nutrition program isn't producing results, isn't helping you recover, isn't, um, isn't giving you the results that you want, you're, you're, you might be trying to oversimplify it or trying to go back to the well on something that might have worked for you in the past and doesn't create good results today. And again, I got to go back to... It, you know, when it comes to health outcomes, it's not just body composition that you're looking for. You're looking for body composition improvement, health, vitality, energy, performance improvement, and, uh, and disease risk 
or uh, biometrics or disease risk factors. So you want to you want something that insulates you from sickness, makes you look and feel good, and then obviously makes you feel strong, focused, and energetic. If you don't if you don't have all those things in your nutrition plan, you probably have to make some minor adjustments. So just like marketing is a game of adjustments, just like most things are a game of adjustments. Nutrition is the same way. So make sure that you're fueling yourself when you need to, make sure you're disciplining yourself when you need to, and making sure, make sure you're asking the right questions. So the, the more curious and the more fascinated you are with the process, the better your overall outcome will be. The more you'll learn and the faster you'll get results. And it won't be as painful. All right. Hopefully I didn't muddy the waters. Hopefully I gave you a little bit of nutrition context. Hopefully I gave you some ideas that will help you stay on the straight and narrow so that you can build muscle, burn fat, and bring forth the warrior within.